Hello everybody, it is Lizard Corgi, and welcome to Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth for our newest pilot let's play. If you're new to pilot let's plays, we do one video for one game, and if it gets enough support from you awesome people, or I personally feel it would be a nice addition to our channel, or I just want to record some of this while I play this game, um, I will make it into a full series. I'm getting faster at saying that. Last time we played The Sims 4, which was alright, but now we're playing a Civilization game, the newest one. I was going to play Civ 5, but I figured... That just wouldn't be appropriate because this is the newest game and I want to play the newest game because I have not played much of it. Which of course means that I am not liable for any keyboards that are broken, any faces that are bruised by face palming, or any tablets, phones, or iPods, whatever, that are thrown across the room and then therefore destroyed because of my terribleness at civilization. Okay, I'm not terrible, I'm just new to the civilization beyond Earth. I've only played about, um, about an hour or so into the game. But I did play a lot, a lot of Civ 5. I had to take a drink of my Gatorade. It's a uh, lemon lime. And I love the civilization games. I love all of them. I love the original, uh, I actually played the um, second Civilization game made, and I played Civ 5. I played the second one on my sister's old computer, and I really enjoyed it. So now, I am going to do a new game in single player. I have absolutely no, no, um, mods installed, and I, I, I've barely, f um, messed around with the options, I don't know what type of other stuff there are, land us news, oh, okay, um, and I, I have, I, I do know the basics, so, I'm gonna set up a game, um, difficulty, mockery, that is the normal difficulty, we'll set to that, game pace, we're gonna do quick, and small, which is about six players, awesome. Let's do this. Alright, we are already in here. So the sponsor system, the... If you haven't played a Civilization game before, um, go, I'm not going to explain basically how to play all Civilizations games, but if you haven't played Beyond Earth, I will be explaining, from my knowledge, how to play Beyond Earth. Um, just because I know it's the newest ones or not, as many people have played it as, say, number five, or number three, or number four. So, the sponsor system, in the original Civ games, they would make it so that you were, you would choose a leader. In this one, you get, which would have certain bonuses, certain weaknesses, all of that. But now, you just get to choose your own, and there aren't as many things to choose from, but it does add a lot of customization to how your game will be played. So we have the Ark, the Pan-Asian Corporate Corporative, the Franco-Iberia, sorry if I mispronounced any of these, the Slavic Federation, the Australia, the Cavathon Proctorite, and the Brazilia and African Union. Food, health, all cities start with an old Earth relic. Military units have 10 percent strength in melee combat and 5% healing when fortified. That sounds actually pretty good. I think we'll go for a militaristic styled civilization. Choose a colonist. Um, I... Energy in this game is basically coins. Science is science. Food is food. Production is production and culture is culture. So we get to choose which one of these we want to do. I personally like the sound of energy. 
um, four plus energy in every single city. Though production and science would also be pretty good, and I do like the sound of food, but food is more of a problem early game, and science is more of a late game, and stuff like that, and so is culture and energy. I think we'll go with energy just because I like the sound of it. Um, it, it basically works out as can't see what in the other games. All right, choose a spacecraft. Continental, these are basically the early game, the very, very early game stats, or the very early game bonuses. So, reveal coast on map, wider area for choosing where to land for city, and additional visibility around starting area. That sounds very good. Begin with 100 energy at standard speed, so it would go down since we're playing as quick speed. Reveal alien nest on map, map. That sounds very important. No technology is needed to see petroleum. Geothermal and titanium resources. That also sounds very important. Um. So, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Choose cargo. Begin with extra population in your first city. I do like that. Begin with the pioneering technology. Ah, uh, sounds good. Begin with a clinic building in your first city. Mm. Begin with soldier unit. Begin with walker unit. I do want extra population. And I do want walker units. These all sound really good, equally good. So I think I'll go with extra population. Again, don't use this as like a guide for how to do it. Um, so this is how you choose which type of world you'll get. Um... We're going to go with the Terrain World, or Terrain World, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, yeah, I think it's Terrain. And it's basically like the continent's map, um, like there is in Civ, in the regular Civ games. There's also Advanced Worlds, but we're not going to fiddle with that right now. And we're going to start and hope for the best. Help my dog is okay. Why oh, is my dog even in here? I don't know. Anyway, let's start. Fit the loading times long. I'll skip it. It's quite peaceful out here among the stars. I know that will set about their tasks, for which I must be ever present. My people will only be as strong as I make them, and so so I must be strong and cannot waver. For now, though. All right, mateys. Select a suitable location for our Thank people you. to make planet for. So we, the way this works is basically we just click on whatever we want, uh, wherever we want to set up our base. Now, let's see. We could get fruit over here, and get this if we clicked on that. We could get forest, grassland, and r grassland and river over here. And we can get a hill over here. And there's mountains. Mountains are usually important in the original, the regular games, so I'll try to go near the mountains. But I think we won't get as much of the fence as if we were on a hill, but this seems being next to a river is also pretty important. So, this over here is my asthma, by the way, so don't touch that because that's poisons. But, um, that's not, so we get to choose which one of these. Marsh River, um, there. Now we have our city. Full access. It's an Easter egg for the developers. Cidadilla. I'm gonna change that. Um, can I change that? I guess I can't change that. I won't be able to pronounce my own city name. Alright, return to map. So first thing we need to do is we have these explorers. We can choose where we want to explore. So it looks like there's a lot of um, marsh and there's some miasma over here. The explorers, I believe, are just like, um, yeah, they're like scouts. So you can, you don't have to worry about any grassland or hill things. Now we've, we've understand habitization so we can get walkers, explorers, soldiers, old orthodox, and clinics. 
Um, but we'll get into that in a second. We're just gonna move this guy over here for the time being. But, oh no, we've already found some alien wolf beetles. Oh, and it's an alien nest, which is not good. Um, but we have a resource pod over there, which is basically ruins, where you'll get free stuff from that. Alright, choose between a walker, explorer, soldier, old earth relic, or a clinic. Or you could get social development, we're not going to get the other stuff. But let's get the, um... Let's get a clinic. Up just for this first few turns. And we'll choose research. The tech Thank you. Web provides a bird's eye so, view of the technology. This is the like the thing I really like about this. Is that they've changed how technology works. So before it would just be a straight tree. Now it's a web, so you can choose to either go out this way, um, like that, or just go for, like, go kind of make circles, or go out if you want, but we're not going to just go out because we'll miss a lot of stuff that way. Um, you can choose between, we have, out in the outer center, we have genetics, um, which will give us a formula, lab, which is plus two health. And science, which is plus one health and plus one science, and plus one food for marsh. We have a lot of marsh around us, so that might be important. Genetic engineering, which is good for military and economics, which gives us fryarium, ultrasonic fence, and clear miasma, which is important. Engineering gives us a combat rover, which is a melee unit specializing in mobility. It excels in battlefield positioning and chasing down enemy units. Thorium reactor. Repair facility. And reveals titanium on maps. I think we're gonna go... Could also get chemistry or physics. I personally want to go for... Genetics. Uh, for about 16 turns. That'll be okay because we'll improve our science. So that'll go a lot quicker. Currently, we're building out in these areas, so we're gonna go there, there, and there. So ten turns, we'll have a more border growth. All right, now we have these alien wolf beetles. Now, these alien wolf beetles are in a nest. I'm sorry, I haven't chosen turns yet, but how the aliens work is they're kind of like barbarians, but they will be. They're neutral towards you at the start. So unless you attack them, we'll go near their nest, which is right there. So we'll probably need to go away. So as long as you're not like there or there, um, they will not attack you. Let's see. Yes, we are weaker than them. So if you don't go towards their nest and you don't nest and you don't attack them, you'll be fine. But we are a bit close to their nest, so I think in the next turn we'll go in a different direction. And then there's the miasma. If we step in the miasma for more... For, um... If we ever step in the miasma for more than one turn... We will start taking damage. And that is, if you couldn't guess, not very fun. So we'll have to find a way to get around that. Resource pods, thank you. But we can... If we wanted to, we could take down these beetles, but I think we'll wait until we get some more better soldiers. For right now, I think we should try to get... No, not over there. Right there. We have some Resilient. Good thing is, this is the only part that doesn't have Miasma. Miasma. My asthma, as you say. Um... Alright, it's 200... Oh, no, 2,680. Unit needs orders, we're gonna move this one. No miasma there. Okay, good. There's more of these... This stuff. You know, I think for our next city... Over here might not be bad, 
but I would want... A hill is very important to get, um, more defense. But I think we should scout the land before we think about where to settle next. There's some, um, titanium. Oh, and I'll get to the harmony, purity, and supremacy, that stuff, um, uh, in a bit. But for right now, we won't focus on that. Um, this place does not have miasma, so we'll be able to move over there. And, yes, we got a resource pod. Some other stuff in this. Uh, we have virtues. I'll get to that. Um, we have quests and victories. Now, if you don't know in Civilization, you can, um... There are ways to win in Civilization. And in this one, they have five. Which is better than the usual, I believe, like, three, and then there's time. But I don't really count time as a victory. It's more just a last resort. We have contact, promised land. Promised land means launch one laser comm satellite. But it's not a laser corgi satellite. Transcendence, research transgenetics, research swarm intelligence, research nanobotics. Discover the prognate signal. Zero of two pieces complete. Domination. Conquer all other player capitals. That's pretty simple. And launch one laser satellite. Satellite. They all seem to be about laser comm satellites. Wonder what these laser comm satellites are. Alright. And I'm learning as I go. I'm just trying to explain what I do know. Um, we have a resource pod. Inside the resource pod you found a cash... Uh, a... Throughout the game, catch... Cash... Of... I never knew how to pronounce it. Of laboratory equipment from Old Earth. Made of precious techniques that are difficult to replicate on this planet. The equipment is equally welcomed by your scientists providing 12 research. Which is good, that speeds up our genetics along. Still... One more turn and we'll have the clinic. Anyway, now let's go more in this direction. Already have another research pod. Let's see the quests. Gift from home. Find three resource pods and found an outpost. Alright. So that we need resource engineering and for this we need to find three more. Two more research pods. And since we already have one over there that should not be very hard. Alright, we'll move him there. Inside the research pod you found a... Pardon me. I may be okay, we found more. Alright, we've... We've really, um... Well, really, your explorer has noticed going good with this. Oh, it's a dialect settlement, which we can make an expedition at. Right now, choose between either a walker or an old earth relic. I think I'll make an old earth relic. We have finished. What? Do, where have we finished? Oh, the clinic, which gives us more science and more of that stuff. So let's make an old earth relic, which will give us more culture. And it costs one energy per turn, but won't worry about that. So I have that done in four turns. Oh. Already got a new research pod. Already. And we have a new place that we can make um, an expedition, but sadly there is my asthma, so it would not be the most wise thing to do. Alright. When we came to this plant, we brought a member, number of plants from Old Earth. Somehow, one of these plants has taken root outside of Sedano and turned invasive. If left unchecked, it could convert the local environment into a more Earth-like ecosystem. Whether or not that is a good thing must be decided. So if we... Okay, so basically, there's a new thing in this game called the Harmony, Purity, and Supremacy. Now, if I can get into that, I'm not sure where it is. Virtues, okay. Nope, that wasn't what I was looking for. Diplomacy. No. Oh, yeah, there's no, no one else. Um. Question victories. Huh. 
Okay, I'll just explain. So basically how these work is harmony is like letting every like kind of making one with this new planet. Purity is trying to make this more like um Earth. Like our homeland, and supremacy is like basically conquering this. Conquering this planet. So contain the outbreak will help with har harmony. Continues to purity and continues to supremacy. Now we're not really gonna go for harmony because we're gonna be a mainly um mainly militaristic. So I think we'll continue with purity and supremacy. I think we'll personally go with supremacy, but that's just me. Completed. Familiar uh, exotics. Exotics, sorry. <laughs> Received five culture. And one turn we'll get a new virtue. Health. I have something okay. that needs your attention. We need to keep the citizens healthy. Healthy is basically, it's basically happiness. If your colony is healthy, it has bonuses which will get better as health improves. Um, but if you have things like more populations, more cities, and that will go down. But if you have things like, um, like different types of clinics and things like that, it'll help. And there's one thing I should have mentioned in this genetics. You can actually filter by what it adds. So each research adds something new. So if you want to know what will get you the most food. What will get a lot of food. These ones all add things involving food. Want to know what gets you supremacy? Or purity? You could just click on that. Science. Or you can just have our victories. Or no filter, which we will have. And we can go through the different views, orbital views, thank you. This is um, which we don't really need to use right now. Develop a virtue. Might, prosperity, knowledge, or production. I think we'll go... These, these are basically like the cultural traits, um, but a little bit different. Uh, since... They basically just work of helping in different places. So it's a lot easier to know what will get you different things. So we are going to go with Might. Gives us plus 50 XP from combat, yes. And we also get synergy bonuses. Um, if we get a number of different things. In some ways. Okay. So now, the invasive plant has begun to spread, eliminating other resources from the surrounding land. However, the species has shown to be a great potential crop. As it grows faster and larger than it ever did on Old Earth, our scientists believe that though low, through low genetic modification, the plant could be made to serve as either food or energy. We simply must decide which is more beneficial. Uh, I think we should do energy. Yeah, let's do that. Um, there we go. What is this? Oh, we now have a new citizen. Cool. You go to war with the soldiers you have. Make sure those are the soldiers you want. All right. Um, we now have. We now have genetics, so we get to choose a new research, and we can build something else in the next one. One of the new features we got. So we could choose between engineering, ecology, or chemistry. Let's go with engineering, so we'll get a new um, type of kind of uh, unit. Let's go. Choose a new production. I think it's about time we build a sort of soldier. Um, that's what we'll make. So, we have one more move on our expedition. All right, expedition completed. We got thirty culture. Your explorer has awesome. discovered something Thank you. wonderful. There are many more. Um, develop a virtue. 
Uh, we can choose between... Let's see what we need first. Um, we have a good amount of energy, a good amount of health. Not so good with virtue, um, or culture, or whatever. This helps productivity, knowledge, and cultural pursuits. Plus 10 science when healthy. Yeah, let's go with that. Yes. I don't want to go just for a, a militaristic. I want to be a kind of all-around type of civilization. Uh, where should we go? We need to go over there. Gotcha. We received 10 science. We found a portable reactor and fuel source inside the research pod. We got 40 energy. Awesome. Let's see if we should buy anything. Um, I personally really do want to buy the... No, actually, I don't need to buy anything, to be honest. Actually, can we buy... Purchase... We can purchase a new explorer, but I don't think we need that yet just yet. Exit the map. Oh, and... We finished our... Um... We finished our quest. Show complete quests. Got both of those done. Familiar exotics. Um, build an alien preserve on the citadel. Also, have you engineer? Okay, locate. Alien preserve building in this. Oh, okay. We will build the alien preserve. Let's see. Do we, can we build the alien preserve? Change production. No. So. No. Um, so what we can do is go into science, and somewhere there should be something about alien preserves. Alien preserves, alien preserves. Um, alien preserves. Search. Alien preserve. Where's that? I'll type that in again. I, I didn't quite get it. Alien pause of um oh alien life forms. I'm sorry. I have to get that at some point. All right, and as. As much as I am enjoying this, I think I'll end it about here. Um, I, de I definitely had a good time playing this. I think this will become a full series. Um, like and favorite if you enjoyed and want this to become a full series. And subscribe if you like my channel and want to support it. And to everyone watching and the land of space, I say to you... <laughs>